let's get started. Um, so the first thing that we've built uh, was a relatively simple uh, dashboard. We're using Power BI to take a look at that same data set that, uh, that we were investigating last time, right? So um, uh, it's, it's, uh, it was as simple as, uh, you know, a customer table and a product table. We have approximately 7,000 customers. We've calculated something uh, that could be useful or will be useful later on, which is lifetime value. So we can take a look at an average lifetime value. Value, our at, we can see average monthly charges for whatever set uh, we're selecting and the average tenure in months. Um, these are the demographics for our customer data set. You can see that roughly we have 50-50% male-female, uh, same kind of thing with married, not married. 30% of our customers have dependents uh, and uh, about 16% of them are senior citizens, right? Uh, we can also uh, take a look at this view, which uh, shows uh, uh, sort of uh, um, uh, penetration of our um, uh, products into the customer base. About 90% of them uh, use uh, our phone service, 78%, 80% uh, have internet service, and here at the bottom, uh, only roughly 30% uh, subscribe to tech support or use online security. And finally, these two views are uh, a little interesting. Um, um, as, expecting, as expected, the average lifetime value by contract type is the highest for those having a two-year contract, and that's closely followed by the one-year contract uh, and then the month-to-month. -month. Um, what's interesting is that the total revenue uh, that these customers bring in uh, does not necessarily fo follow the same pattern. Uh, two years still the first one, but the month-to-month -month customers actually bring in considerably more revenue than the one-year uh, um, than the one-year uh, contract types. Okay, so that's already pretty interesting. In a visual way, I can see insights in the data that would be completely hidden if I was looking at this uh, in an Excel spreadsheet.